Hello again, everybody. Chelsea here. Sorry, we were having some technical difficulties on our first video, so we're just trying again. And as you know, I'm here to just get us started on our Thursday edition of Girl Talk, giving yourself permission. Really, really excited about the topic today. It's all about just taking that risk in life and, and doing the thing that scares you. Oh no, is what make you feel really fully alive. Yay, there you are. I think we're, we're better. Right side up. How's it going? <laughs> yes, can you hear me okay? Oh yeah, you're coming through nice and clearly. Okay, good. I'm just going to have a look at what it looks like on my laptop just to make sure that it's all good. Uh -huh. Thanks everyone for watching. Just sort of yeah. give us a moment. We'll get all set up and we'll get started. Leah is in Florida right now, the lucky girl. I am. <laughs> I'm in Florida. I love saying that. So I was on the plane with, so uh, all the way down from, so, you know, I flew down from Montreal to Florida and I was on the plane with 149 snowbirds and I felt like a snowbird. <laughs> It's pretty cool. You are coming down for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And for Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, too, to yes. all of happy our American friends. Yeah, to all of our American <laughs> friends and clients. Yeah. Um, and family. So I can't actually see it. It doesn't, it's not coming up on my, you know, I'll do this like that. And I think we're, we're good. So for whoever is watching, yeah, it looks okay. perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Chelsea. It looks good? Yes. I'm going to yeah. share this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to share this while we're getting started. Um, and thank you to all of you who are watching on this beautiful day. Hey, Calpan. Hi, Calpan. How's it going? Um, yeah, just anyone that's watching, if you can let us know, if you can hear us clearly, if everything's coming through clearly. We just had a little bit of technical difficulties before, but I think we're all good now. We're getting ready yes. to start. Girl talk. Give yourself permission to feel fully alive by taking the risks that you might be holding back from or being, you know, being a bit afraid to do. So we're going to be sharing about what that has looked like for, for both of us in our lives. And I, I think this is a really good opportunity to have our viewers, you know, chime in. I'd love to hear what other people may have done in their own lives or maybe wanting to do and, you know, have them share in the comments below, you know, if there's anything that you've been wanting to do either that you have done recently and, and, you know, that you've taken that risk and, you know, how that was for you and, and really, you know, what it was as, as well. But it's just such an exciting conversation. I'm really excited to chat with you about this one. Yes. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. It's uh, American Thanksgiving today, very exciting. It's my very first American Thanksgiving, and uh, it's really different um, from Canadian Thanksgiving, actually. Um, you know, they awesome. eat turkey and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, it's nice out. It's kind of cloudy, but you know, no snow, so we're good. Thank you, Diana. Yes, perfect. Okay. Thanks for coming back. That's good to know. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about today's topic, too, because I think that that's where both of us um, really thrive and we get along so well in this area because we're, we're like, you know, just jump, take risks, do the things that, you know, um, help you step out of your comfort zone and just mm -hmm. go for it, right? Where um, a lot of times we'll be kind of hesitant uh, to, to do things, to do the things that we want to do. Um, so... Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this topic with you um, mm -hmm. and share, you know, how, how we do things like that in our life and, and in our clients' lives and how that shifts and opens up tons of opportunity in yeah. other areas. Yeah, well, and I think it's something that, I mean, I always think about this, you know, when you like go to your, like you go to invest some money and they ask you, like you have to fill out that little questionnaire, like what's your risk tolerance, you know, like are mm -hmm. you are you really, are you a risk taker? Are you a little bit more conservative? And I think part of it, it's might be to an extent, a little bit of a personality thing, right? Like everyone has their, their own kind of amount of risk. You know, some people are out there jumping out of planes or they're, you know, cliff yeah. diving and things like that. 
that's not my cup of tea. <laughs> In fact, I used to be terrified of flying. But that was, I think, one of the first, I guess, risks for me, you know, growing up that I used to take is I would, even if I was terrified of flying, I would still fly, you know, like I would, mm -hmm. I would just do it anyway. And I think that that's one of the things for me that like, has always just sort of been there. Is, you know, it's that thing, feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah. And some, for a long time, though, there were certain other areas of my life where I held back for a really long time. So it's just, you know, like, and I think we'll get into all of that. And I think it's an interesting conversation to talk about why we hold ourselves back. You know, like, what's that all about? Because if anyone is kind of sitting on the fence and, you know, having maybe some fear or some self-doubt or, you know, I think often it's also worrying about what other people think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we can have other people's voices and opinions just sort of clouding our own thoughts or our own, you know, excitement about what we're going to do. So has that been uh, a factor for you in your life? What, like clouding other people's thoughts and opinions? Well, just, you know, like, it, has there ever been a time that you have held back from, from doing things that you're afraid of? Oh, my gosh. So many times, Chelsea. Yeah, so many times. And you know what, how they say like, don't look back and regret the things that you didn't do. Well, like, I, I just, I don't like that energy. I don't want to look back and be like, I regret not doing that. So I really, you know, if there's something that I am, I feel called to doing, especially now, you know, like the, the more you get used to like getting out of your comfort zone, the easier it becomes and the more fun it becomes because you have like I, anyway, for me, anyway, I feel like I have zero expectation when I do the things that I love. And I'm just like, you know, I'm open to so much uh, possibility and so many wonderful, beautiful surprises of abundance and prosperity and love and like fun, right? Like happiness. Um, so, but I remember like, you know, thinking, I can't do this. I can't do that. And I felt like the more that I would do that, the more I would shrink like my soul would just shrink, you know, and not be um, as playful as it is today, right? Uh, where, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't step out of my comfort zone because I thought, what are they going to think about me when in reality, who even cares? Like, why is that even important what other people think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, we can put what a lot of you? weight on Yeah. What? Yeah. We can just, we can put a lot of weight on that. And I think yeah. that it can also often be an excuse, right? Like it can be, um, you know, like a reason that we can have for why we're not going to take that risk or do that thing that we want to do. So it's important to really examine that. And, and number one, you know, really see, you know, like, are we putting our life in someone else's hands and someone else's mm -hmm. opinion? Are we um, using it as an excuse, using it to hold ourselves back? But you said something that I think is a huge a uh, hugely important point to, to kind of underline as we're talking about this is I really believe, and I've heard this a lot lately, it seems to be a theme coming up, that this is one of the keys to happiness is, is yeah. really, and one of the keys to feeling really alive. And we talked about that in, in the top of this post, um, you know, you can feel like you said, you, if you were, or when you were in a state where you weren't really following or pursuing these, these dreams and these passions, you kind of shrunk, right? Like you were feeling mm -hmm. like you weren't fully yourself, you weren't fully living. And so yeah. I think that that's something that's so important. You know, there's so many of us that are feeling um, you know, down and, and feeling discouraged. And, and I think sometimes a lot of that has to do with really just holding back and, and, and not necessarily taking control of our own lives, and taking that in our own hands. So yeah. when you were talking about it, I want to, I was, I was almost interrupted you because you were, you, the way that you were talking about it, I was like, I want to hear an example, you know, I want to hear <laughs> an example of something. It's like, even now, like your face just lights up, right? Like so many, I want, what's that? There's so many. How many <laughs> well, just, you know, pick, pick one, right? Like, cause it, I agree there, it goes on and on. Right. And I think it becomes like, once you, once you feel the reward of this, then yeah. you start looking for, for more and more challenges and more and more areas for growth, areas for risk. And because the reward is so beautiful. Like that's something I want to share in a little while, you know, talking mm -hmm. about some examples of, of just sort of the surprising 
and unexpected things that can come out of, of taking risks. Not necessarily just that, you know, you want to feel alive or you want to feel happy. But yeah, I just was curious if you had, yeah. you know, an example, a recent one, or, or just one of the bigger life-changing ones that, that you, that maybe it was like a turning point for you. Wow, there are so many. And, you know, as you're talking, like, I'm just thinking about how, like, I want, I want you to tell your story again. <laughs> want, we, we both have so many stories. I just want you to, I, if you feel comfortable, again, tell your story about the dance that you do. Like, oh, yeah. like, and how you took that step, too, right? So, ah, I'm so yeah. excited to talk about this. I'll definitely talk. share that one. <laughs> That's a big yeah. one for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay, so there, you know, I feel like, like, once again, it's like an organic type of conversation. And this is why we have these girl talks and to give you or give yourself permission and uh, to, to do things. And one of these things is to give yourself permission to take risks, to uh, live more of your life in a way that feels good and um, aligned with who you are deep down, right? Because um, a lot of us will just go on like zombies and feel like, okay, well, this is what I, I thought I had to do. Um, and this is what I'm doing. And then one day you wake up and you're like, wait a second, I didn't do all the things that I said I was going to do. And I think a turning point, which is interesting, you bring that up, you know, that word, the turning point, because, it, mm -hmm. you know, when we do have turning points, we all recognize them where either you would have gone one way or the other. And, um, I like to bring up this particular uh, story as in Alice in Wonderland. You know how when Alice is in the fork in the road and um, she's, she's in this like magical forest and she doesn't know which way to go and she looks up at the tree and, and there's a Cheshire cat that's just sitting there smiling, this huge grin on his face and he, he asks her where she wants to go and she's like, like which which way she wants to take and she's like well I don't know which way to go and he says well then it doesn't really matter which way you go mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and so I feel like at that time when I was like Alice in Wonderland um I was at this fork in the road and I remember at the time um, one of my friends was uh, getting her certification to become a life coach and if she sees this video, I have to like shout out to Anita Novak. Um, she was there at a time when I was feeling like I didn't know what to do with my career and job and, you know, I had all these great things happening for me. Um, and, but it just wasn't like, I just didn't feel like fully alive in what I was doing and how I was living or choosing to live my life. I thought that I had to go with emotions. Um, and then she just happened to be on my path up, you know, in the tree and be like, okay, well, which way do you want to go? And I remember my first meeting with her, which was the turning point of me actually doing something different is that I took a risk to, you know, open up and share with somebody that I was not as happy as I thought I was. And um, I remember saying to her, or she, she asked me the question, well, if you, if you could do anything you wanted, what would it be or something along those lines? And I remember thinking to her, or saying to her, thinking to myself, wait a second. So now I'm a mom and I have this wonderful career, but I just swept all of my dreams under the rug and I could see all of the dreams, right? Like under this rug, like it was like a visual. And she said, okay, well, what are those dreams? And I just started naming all of them. And these, these were all the things that I had thought of like when I was like five years old. And I was like, how come I haven't done these things yet? Like, and I'm 30 at the time, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So that was really, really interesting. That was a turning point for me in seeing that I'm actually not living out purposefully and I'm not taking risks in the way that I want. And after that happened, so many shifts happened. And like you said today, like, you know, energetically, it just like all opens up. You get different um, people talking to you and circumstances and clients start coming in. Like, it's just, it just happens, right? It's like a, a, an energetic domino effect. So, yeah, I mean, that that's like the first story, uh, one of so many that, um, uh, that like I'll share, you know, today. But I do have to say that when I was younger, and maybe that's the same thing for you and for our audience, is that when I was younger, I took a lot more risks. And mm -hmm. I lived so abundantly, and it was so much fun because 
I didn't worry about what other people thought. I didn't worry about what I thought either. I just did it. I just went forward. Yeah. Yeah. It's so awesome. true, you know, as we get older, <laughs> as we, you know, we become mothers and, you know, there are certain kind of stages in our life that we can kind of like, again, withdraw a little bit, contract, things can happen to us, you know, we can go through mm-hmm. trauma, um, you know, different things can happen that can also alter our level of risk that we take, you know, we can um, experience fear from, from different things that can happen, right? So then that can shift yeah. us for us too. But I think it's also really important, you know, I mean, at the stage that I'm at right now, I feel younger than ever, you know, just yeah. I think because of, you know, being tapped into to this, this vibration uh, of just really knowing that I am, I mean, I have this, this faith, right, that I'm, I'm supported, that if I'm going to take a step, if it feels yes. like it's the right me even if it feels a little bit like it's not logical you know like um you know i think sometimes we we make so many decisions with our logical brain and and that can get in our way as well because our logical brain is afraid of risk right our logical brain wants to keep us safe yes and it's, you know, really starting to feel into things with our heart and you know it's important to have that balance i mean logic i'm not saying throw logic out the window <laughs> but it's it's really important to to just um, you know, really take that em- embodied approach too. you know, like, how, how do you want to feel in your life? How, mm-hmm. when you do that thing that you're excited about, or that you're dreaming about, and you know, the, the dance is one that that really comes up for me, like, how did I want to feel when I, you know, decided that I wanted to follow that path? And I will share that story a little bit more um, today, because it is I a love the one. story. I love it. Story. <laughs> I want to share something else first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, you know, you're talking about you're talking about the Cheshire, Cheshire cat, and I think that that I've never thought about that before. But you know, I always I really believe that you know, there's in, in our lives we meet people for you know a reason, right? And I almost I have this feeling that there's like angels that are scattered throughout our life, and we meet them. And I've never thought about that image of the Cheshire cat as well, like kind of, you know, just sort of like at this turning point or at this really key and pivotal moment in your life, because you're a Cheshire cat for me, right? Because you, (laughs) you know, so one of the things I wanted to talk about before going into this whole thing with dance, even though it's kind of part of the same theme, because, you know, some of you who don't know me or didn't know me in the past, I have dealt with crippling shyness for most of my life crippling to the point that I, you know, like throughout most of my school, schooling, and I, you know, I, through high school and post-secondary education, I would not speak. I would not speak up in the class. If there was a time that we had to do a presentation, I would vomit before having to do the presentation. I just, I I had this huge, huge block. And not everyone knows this, but Leah was someone that I met actually just as I was about to join this life-changing program that I'm still in mm-hmm. that has really pushed me in so many amazing ways um, with a, this beautiful mentor, Ingrid Arna. Um, but Leah was the, the woman that I had the sales call with for, for that. So it was such a huge turning point in my life. And that moment that I made that decision that I wanted to do this, this business training, which is really what has allowed me to really step into my confidence and be able to speak to you live right now. I wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't for Leah. Mm. It's such a huge turning point. And, you know, again, like the amazing things that have come out of this, things that I wasn't even really looking for or expecting. I mean, for me, I just wanted to be able to grow my business. I wanted to be able to speak articulately about what I feel really passionately about without fear, which had been controlling and ruling my entire life. And, you know, it wasn't like I just did it. I had to go through some healing. I had to really understand what was holding me back for most of my life, why that was. But as soon as I met that and I, you know, had the right people helping me, the right support, all of that old stuff fell away. And, oh yeah, like just such an exciting stage to be at right now even just doing these weekly shows you know I love this yeah. and and I love just thinking about what is to come you know like for me it just opened up this whole world that was dark before that it it, it wasn't like it was almost like it didn't exist it's like mm-hmm. turning on the light to a room in your house that you didn't know existed you know like it's but the room was there 
yeah, I was there. Yeah. And it was like, I was praying for it. Right. But it's just this feeling of expansion, you know? So I think that oh, I just get really excited. This is a topic that I'm so passionate about because it really is life altering and you just never know where it's going to take you. So yeah, for me, one of the big ones, like, and I still feel it every, every moment that I'm about to go live and I press that button, you know, there's this like rush of fear, but it's more than that. It's excitement. It's this feeling of what's going to happen this time. You know, what's going to, what's going to come up, what's going to come out. And yeah. it's really, really exciting and beautiful. So thank you, Leah, <laughs> for being <laughs> the Cheshire cat in that path for me. Yeah, I, you know, but I want to speak to that because I remember, I very vividly remember our conversation. Um, and, you know, like you, I was like crippling shy when I was in school. I, I tried to be invisible. That's how shy I was. Yeah. Like I tried many, many yeah. years to be invisible. And because uh, that's just what was safe for me at the time. But um, when we had that conversation, like I could already see your potential. And I feel like when we talk to a coach or, you know, um, like, let's say a sales uh, team, team member of a coach or just, you know, wanting to, to step up into like a bigger game for ourselves and join a coaching program or a mentoring program, um, or even like going back to school or whatever it is, making that decision that opens so many doors that we did not even see, like not even knowing that the room was there. And then just like, as soon as we make the decision, it's like the light turns on and we're like, oh, there are actually lots of rooms here that I, and they're actually quite pretty. Like, I didn't know that, right? Um, <laughs> the, room, the, the house is so much bigger than I thought. But um, I could see and sense the potential in you as I do so many people. And as like as empaths as we do, we see so much potential in people. But when that person holds himself back, um, it's hard for them to see it. And I felt like in that conversation and not only with you, but like, you know, I've seen myself do it. Actually, I, I, I do it all the time when I talk to friends and stuff. But what you did in that conversation was like, it's like you needed just somebody to hold your hand and you're like, is this okay? Do I have permission to step yeah. up? And you were giving your, like, I wasn't giving you permission. You were giving yourself permission and making that decision. And I think that's what we do when we make a decision and do something different. Again, like we get different results, right? And you in that moment, I could feel the shift in like, you're like, okay, I'm going to move forward with this. And I thought that was like a beautiful, like blossoming of what was like happening in your life at that time. And I bring this up because I, you know, it's, it's in that moment that you make the decision and I remember yesterday I was talking to Preston, who I'm here with, and he he was talking about another coach and how that coach says, say yes to your yes. And in that moment, you said yes to your yes, right? <laughs> and that's what, it's not like saying no to your yes. You're like, yes, I'm going to do it. And then, oh, no, forget it. No, you're or actually not, like, yeah, maybe, maybe, or another day. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yes, like I'm. I'll think so, about it. Let, yeah. Yeah, and and we were we were talking about this a little bit because we always do our little kind of a, a brief debriefing before we go on this call just yeah. to kind of chat about what you know we have on our minds about our topic. And we were talking about this and and what that yes does, you know, like the impact that that yes has on, oh. on your your life. It's like you're making a declaration by saying yes to your dreams, by saying yes to your the things that you were maybe afraid to do. And, and making that declaration, you know, nobody really knows how the universe works, but you're, you're basically, you're opening up this whole um, series of, of steps and paths, again, that, that, you know, we might not have known existed before. It's like opening the door to that room that we didn't know that existed, but it sets in motion a series of events that, again, like you, you might not have expected. Because I know, I mean, I got confirmation. So we had that call and I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm like, yes, this is something I know I need. I know I want to do. I'm like so ready for this, but I'm like, I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. 
Yeah. But that same <laughs> afternoon, I got a call and I had like the solution just presented itself. I got uh, the money was there. And, and so to me, that was one of the biggest confirmations I've ever had about that. You know, you hear the universe has your back, right? But you have to make the decision. You have to almost step through the door. I mean, it wasn't like I had signed anything and I was like all of a sudden going to be putting myself in massive debt. But I said, yes, I walked through that threshold and in rushed in the support that I wasn't sure where I was going to come from. And, and there it was. So that was yeah. just like, and such a huge confirmation of, of this amazing grace and support and power that, that, you know, is present for all of us. It's not just, you know, certain people, this is present for everyone. You know, when you accept yourself, um, when you accept who you are and who it is that you're becoming and who you're growing into and, and really let everything else fall away. All the doubt, mm -hmm. all the fear, all the worry. So yeah, that was, that was a pretty big life-changing moment. And now we're yeah. good friends. <laughs> so, you know, even better. I got, got a good friend out of the deal too. I just wanted I to say hi. There's a couple people that have jumped on. Hi, Valerie and hi. Samantha and Diana. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, we'll, we'll continue to chat more about our experience with all of this, but I also want to hear, you know, comment below if, if there's mm -hmm. something that you want to declare, you know, if you want to say yes to right here and now, something that you've been wanting to do, again, the power of declaring it. There's something so yeah. incredibly amazing about that. It's just stepping through that threshold. So if there's anything that you're wanting to, you know, declare right now that you're wanting to do, or even if you want to share something that you've been through, on the same on the same topic we would love to hear it it's it's a really exciting topic so yeah. it is <laughs> giving yourself permission to even declare what it is that you want to make that declaration mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah i would love to know and if you're watching in the future please leave a comment below mm -hmm. let yeah. us know we'll, we'll be able to I, watch it later go back later yeah, I, I, um, I think it was, when was it? Oh yeah, so about a year ago, um, I was uh, chatting with, I was in Atlanta for a, a client's um, event and I was taking a break and, uh, or we had a break at that time. I went to sit in the lobby and I take out my phone as usual and I start chatting with um, one of my Facebook friends on Messenger. And he says, uh, I'm like, hey, what, what are you up to? And he says, oh, I'm, I'm uh, you know, uh, just living the life. And I said, oh, well, I'm just, you know, writing out my bucket list, all the things I want to do. And he said, that's interesting because I am living out my bucket list. I don't have a bucket list. I just do. Right. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really interesting. And then I said, well, you know what, why don't I just do my bucket list too why does it have to even be a bucket list and in that moment I made the declaration I'm like I want to go zip lining I'm going to go zip lining and that is like a little bit like over canyons <laughs> not just zip line over you know old Montreal for 30 seconds I want it to be like a long zip line and I'm I'm good I, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that but I I made that declaration this is the kind of thing that I want to do and I kid you not, Chelsea, within like under 10 minutes, I get another message from one of my Facebook friends, actually somebody that I worked with. And she said, have you, um, have you joined, you know, um, put in your candidacy to take part in my reality TV show? And I, I had, I knew nothing about what she was talking about. And uh, she said, well, I think that you'd be a really good candidate for it. One of the things that we're going to be doing, if you do win, uh, you know, your candidacy, candidacy wins a uh, part on this show um, is that we're going to go zip lining over canyons. This was <laughs> under 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea, but wow. I declared it and it happened. Right. And then I, you know, I won to be a part of that uh, reality TV show um, celebrity adventure challenge on, uh, on Catalina Island, which was a year ago, exactly mm -hmm. a year ago. And, um, and I went, and we zip lined across the most beautiful canyons on Catalina Island. So yes, make that declaration and the universe will hear you. Whatever it is that you believe in, like, you know, 
doors will open, things will happen. But if you're just going to stay, you know, like bunched up and closed to opportunity, then things just don't happen as quickly. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, things will end up being a bit more stagnant, you know, like mm -hmm. we were talking about yeah. before. You wonder why is it happening to everybody else and not me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, I know, I don't know how long we've been on. I know you wanted to hear about my dance, so I'll tell, I'll tell the dance. Story yes, I want to hear about your dance. Well, we, we've been they on up. for like 40 minutes or so, I think. Ooh, okay, we're getting, this, our calls are usually Good. about this. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, we could talk for hours, of course. It's so fun. So basically, um, I'm just trying to think of how to start this story because I don't want it to be, I don't want to ramble on too, too long about it. But um, I was at this stage in my life. I had recently been separated. And, um, you know, even though that was my choice, it was kind of, I mean, it was a devastating experience to go through. I think it always is, especially with young children. It was um, a difficult time in my life. And I felt like my confidence was low. I was at that point still very, very shy and, and really, um, you know, feeling like I needed a boost, you know, both just kind of with my own sense of self-confidence, but mm. also just a boost in my life. I felt like I needed to shake things up. And I also felt like I needed to keep busy because there were times where, you know, I didn't have my daughter with me and I really, you know, I was like craving some sort of adventure in my life and you know i've always been inspired by musicals you know like we've talked about this the musical chicago is one that Beautiful. has always inspired me so much you know i love the singing and the dancing and the costumes you know and around the same time my daughter she was about five or six at the time she was in dance and she was starting to kind of say oh i don't like this you know i'm, I'm tired of dancing i want to quit and i would reply to her by saying this was one of my best parenting moments i'd be like <laughs> you love dance you know like you're not quitting you love this and so I would kind of like just basically ignore what she was trying to tell me and yeah. just you know tell her oh, you're in dance because you love it like what are you talking about and then I finally started to you know like realize that of course you know I need to listen to my daughter because she's telling me she doesn't like this and then realize that here I am like I was the mom on um like you know, I was always at their performances in backstage, helping with their costumes and helping with their, their hair and their makeup. And I have this picture. I, I want to dig it up because that it, it's the turning point. Like I took a picture in that moment and it's like just all of us standing at the, the corner of the stage and the, the girls are about to go on and perform and you can't see their faces, but it's just like the light coming through from the stage and just like you can feel the energy coming off the photo, that excitement that happens just before the performance. And within that photo, when I look at that, I just, I feel that, that that was sort of this message to me that I needed to pursue something like that for myself. So mm -hmm. you know, at that point, I heard she had, she had her performance, the season ended and I was like, okay, we're, you're done. You don't have to do it anymore, but mommy is going to go and find her own dance where she can do a performance. And, and she, uh, you know, so I, I decided I was going to do this for myself. And at this point, I didn't know if there was anything out there that really existed like that. And I hadn't danced since I was six, right? So, you know, I, I was like, how is this going to work? So I started looking, I started doing some research. And just around that time, this beautiful woman named Carla Catherwood was starting this business called Army of Sass, and she has grown. I mean, her I'm, she's such an inspiration to me in business, but she now has um, dance locations, I think in 30 different cities in North um, America. Mm -hmm. And so what she was doing was starting this incredible dance program mm -hmm. for professional or past professional dancers, but also for women and men, whoever was interested could join, um, who had no training, but who wanted to perform in this beautiful heels dance and then each season there was a different theme right so mm -hmm. you know we've i've been in i think i have a performance coming up now on december 1st and it'll be my fifth one and i can't even tell you how life altering that was i mean even again i think one of the side benefits again is you meet amazing people you know the friends i've met through these yeah. experiences have been incredible but it's just that feeling. And now I get that feeling when I get to step on stage. It's that 
excitement. It's that feeling. That's what makes me feel alive, knowing that I'm about to step out and who knows what's going to happen. I mean, I could fall. I don't even care. I don't care if I don't fall. <laughs> you know what that. It's just that, that feeling. That's what makes me feel alive. And yeah, I get to do that in a couple of weeks, <laughs> which is really exciting. And I will continue to do it as long as I can. I mean, it's incredible. So, yeah. That story. But look at, look at all that was empowered in you, you know, making that decision to join the dance troupe. Yeah, it you was know. scary. You've had you dance since you were scary. six years old. You know, that's, that's huge. <laughs> well, it, again, like, this is such a great program. Like, it was, I mean, it, and how lucky, right? Like, that just as I was looking for something like that, this, yeah. this incredible company is just blossoming, and there's so many other women that are joining, and and loving the experience as well but it was yeah like I had to deal with some fear I had to deal with you know worry about what people would think about me doing this and yeah um you know but I you know again like all of that stuff just fell away because I was so excited about it and you know when you like every now and then you know you're scared you do you, even in the past like I would, I guess I would feel like I needed to bring a friend, you know, like I'd need to kind of yeah. have someone come with me. Even that I didn't even care about. I was like, I'm doing this, I'm going, I'm going by myself and I'm just, I'm going to make it happen. And it's like, I got there and this was the cool thing because the owner of this business lives in Toronto, but I yeah. went to a drop in and she, she was there. Like I got to learn from her, they call her mama C <laughs> and I'm in the drop in class. And she's right there with me. She's got her hands on my hips. She's showing me how to move. And I was like, I, you know, a little bit stars in my eyes because she's like this incredible dancer. And, and yeah. I learned so much in that one hour from, from her. And I was hooked. So, I yeah. love it. I love that story. I'm so glad you shared it again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because, so. yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad you shared it again because so many times we won't take, make those um, leaps and bounds and you you just stepped out of your comfort zone you're like you know what time got to do this it's now or never yeah so i i i'm really excited because we are um organizing a free master class in december so december 19th and i would love for us to share that with our audience so if you're watching mm -hmm. live or if you're watching in the future um this is something that you want to do you can uh, private message us that we can uh, add you to the list of people that will be um, joining this masterclass. And it's really on how to manage your energy over the holidays that are coming up very, very quickly. Um, and, you know, a lot of times we'll go into the holidays and feel like kind of overwhelmed by everything that's happening. There's so many different parties going on, so many people we're seeing. Um, and as highly sensitive people and empaths, it might be uh, challenging to navigate family and friends and um, you know, sometimes, sometimes painful memories, sometimes really good, you know, just dealing with different types of people in our lives. And it is a different kind of moment. The holidays are a different moment. Some are happier for others, um, but really it's in self-care and managing your own energy during the holidays. And this is what we will be teaching about, giving yourself permission to feel really good while you're navigating the holidays. Um, mm -hmm. And is there anything you want to add to that, Chelsea? No, you described it beautifully. I think that it's something, yeah, it's kind of like our, we decided we were going to do almost like a, our gift to, yes. to all of the beautiful people that have been, you know, liking our videos. This is, it is going to be a little bit different where it's not going to be on Facebook Live. So basically, yeah. if you do want to watch on December 19th, we're going to have this one in the, in the evening. Um, I think we decided for 7 o'clock Eastern on December 19th. But we'll be doing you know, an actual announcement soon. Um, yeah. But you have to get the, the link to be able to join um, because we also have another part of uh, the gift, which is kind of like a little info sheet that's going to, mm -hmm. you know, you'll be able to take with you and, and it'll help you get through the holidays again. There's so many tips that we want to share because this is, yeah. I think, an important thing. And, and it, yeah, it can be so, so stressful. So we just want to, to really offer our support and our love and our you know, this is our experience for how you can really make the most of the holidays and, and end up on the other side in the new year, just feeling really energized and not drained. Absolutely. Yeah. To set yourself up really also for the new year that is to come and make it, you know, 
give yourself permission to have that best year of your life yet really mm -hmm. so to live your best how cool would that be live your best holiday season ever and then have the best year of your life you know and then some <laughs> yeah yeah i Exciting. yeah right. very so very if cool. you're watching and you're interested um just send us a message and we're, we'll get you on our list we're just kind of starting the list right now we'll be sending mm -hmm. out an official invite soon for everyone who wants to join us that night Absolutely. And it'll be a lot of fun. And it's like having two coaches live in, you know, intimate live masterclass um, on Zoom, where you'll get to ask lots of questions and learn a lot while you're in the process. Um, I also want to bring up that if any of you are struggling with, you know, stuff like this in your lives and want to just live more, rather than live vicariously through people, um, then you know, it's time to step up your game. And uh, I would love for you to reach out to either of us to have, you know, a call and have a discussion on how we can help you um, take that leap of faith and do what it is that you want to do to find more meaning and purpose in your life um, as you move forward. So yeah, we'll provide the links below as well to book a call with either of us. And we'd love to chat with you about it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you, Leah. Yeah. It's been so fun as always. Yes. Chatting with you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Florida. Soak up right. the sun and have so much fun. <laughs> yes, yes, I will. Well, have a great rest of your day. And thank you again, once, uh, once again, to everybody that was watching. And we will see you again next week for another episode of Girl Talk Giving Yourself Permission. See you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Leah.